Good morning, Sunday 11th of October 2020. What's been happening? Well, sadly, the Triumph T595 has gone. Very, very reluctantly, I might add. So just a quick recap on that motorcycle. Um, my previous vlog, episode 41, here it is here. Triumph Daytona T595, 20 year old superbike or a money pit? Only time will tell. Well, sadly, I didn't have it that long, but in the brief period that I did own the motorcycle, I clocked up just under a thousand mile. So not a, not a great deal of mileage. However, it was faultless. So probably the answer to that question, is it a money pit? Well, no, and I, absolutely recommend to anybody if that's the bike you want then don't hesitate it was fantastic it had a lot of character that three cylinder engine is is awesome but the reason i did get rid of it was because trying to source new parts not second hand parts new parts from places like world of triumph uh, fowlers a lot of parts were unobtainable or on a backlog or whatever, just uh, they don't make them anymore. So I got to thinking, what happens, worst case scenario, I come off the bike or the bike falls over, I have to source lots of spare bits. So I went through the scenario of the, the unfortunate uh, crash. So there's the exhaust, the side fairings, the indicators, mirrors, etc 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 unobtainable so then i've got a motorcycle in the garden i can't source parts for i can't ride and of course i can't sell 1999 to 2001 and then they changed the model to the uh, the daytona 955i so they changed all the bodywork and a lot of the internals as well um, so apparently they've stopped as of last year triumph stopped making parts for the t595 so i thought i've really kind of got to let this bike go reluctantly so i did i priced it on marketplace on the facebook selling site um, right in a sweet spot of what other people were asking for their um, for their similar motorcycles, similar age, similar mileage, condition, etc. So I placed it right in that sweet spot and it got snapped up in no time at all, leaving me bikeless. So we can't have that. So anyway, the, the reason for today's vlog is um, to give you a quick look at my new motorcycle and here's the keys for it. So. Without further ado, let's go and have a look at it, shall we? And here we are. We've rode out to the Royal Garrison Church in Aldershot. Sadly, it's under renovation at the moment, so you can't see it in its glory. Anyway, let's have a look at the bike. And here we go. It's a 2005 K5 GSX 1300R. Hayabusa. Since purchasing it, it did go back under warranty. So I was having a judder from the front end, so we've now got new discs and pads, front and rear.
Sunday, 11am. Good morning, welcome back. So today, Good morning, welcome back. So, reading in between the lines, and I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently the T595 was only made for a couple of years from 91 to 90, 1999 to 19, 1999 to 2001, and then they changed the model to the... Uh, Royal Garrison Church in Aldershot, sadly it's under renovation at the moment, so you can't see it and it was all its glory. So you can't see it and it's all... Hmm. 